I gotta be honest with you guys. I feel like I'm getting kind of old. I've been doing this show a long time now. I, I feel like pop music is passing me by, like I'm too old to get it anymore. And speaking candidly, I may not have ever gotten it to begin with. I have no idea why you guys even listen to me, and what do I know? I'm a terrible critic. I'm always behind the trends. Whenever the new hot important thing comes out, I'm the last one on the bandwagon every time. When Lil Jon first got big, I thought he was the worst thing I ever heard. And I'm still not huge on EDM, which is the wave of the future. Unless it's not anymore, and I just haven't realized it yet because I'm that behind. Like, why are you listening to me? And especially lately, I feel like this stuff is just not something I understand anymore. Like, Legacies, family, seated like a pen, going on like a Montana. What the hell is this shit? Not only is this not a good song, it's barely even a song. And that's like a ton of songs lately. I need a one dance, got a Hennessy in my hand. Gosh, Drake, I don't know if you sound bored enough. See if you can sound even flatter and duller. It's just these songs, they're just like a monotone. It's like no one cared at all. Everything sounds so half-assed. It's like they're sleepwalking through it. Literally, this Rihanna song sounds like she took some downers and is losing consciousness. Oh, I hate to be that guy. I do. I just... I just want something I get, you know? Something familiar. Something, you know, songful. That sounds like music that I recognize. Something that speaks to my life and my concerns. Right now, I'm concerned about my ever-increasing age and the passage of time. Why can't we have something about that? I'm too old for the rest of the shit about pandas or whatever. I've been doing this job too long. I mean, Christ, it's been seven years. Wait. Seven years? Is this a sign? Once I was seven years old, my mama told me, go make yourself some friends or you'll be lonely. Once oh my I was god. Seven years this is perfect! Listen to it! I always had that dream like my daddy before me. Real instruments? Lyrics that are actually about something? An actual song with like choruses and verses and shit? Oh god, yes, I get it! Thank Christ! I get it! I mean, I don't like it. I actually hate it. A lot. I think it's worse than all those other songs I was talking about by a huge margin. There is absolutely no question that this is going to make my worst list this year. Probably pretty high. I mean, place your bets now. Where will it land? Number six? Number two? Number one? It's a real possibility because this song is truly, truly awful. But it's an awful that I understand. In fact, it's the most familiar kind of awful there is. Yes, it's our old friend, the white guy with acoustic guitar. Minus the guitar. Let me back up here. These guys are Lucas Graham, named for their frontman Lucas Graham Forchammer, and they are from yet another new stop on our international pop tour, Denmark. A country you think about so little that you don't even realize that that's not Denmark. Windmills and tulips are Dutch. Know your national stereotypes, goddammit! Also, HBO, please don't sue me. And for the past year, Lucas Graham has been tearing up Europe, standing a good chance at being the most internationally successful act in Danish history. Yes, bigger than Moo, Wigfield, Michael Learns to Rock. Yes, those giants have been taught by these Nordic pastry eating numb nutses. And unfortunately, between this and Charlie Poof, it looks like the piano is officially taking the place of acoustic guitars as the instrument of choice of the talentless bro. Which, that's, you know, that's a shame. I feel devalued as a piano playing white guy. But, but you know what? I'm still calling them a white guy with an acoustic guitar. Even though they're more than one guy and I don't hear any guitar in there. It's... You know, I came up with that term so early on in the show, and I've had to defend and redefine it so often, but for the record, being a white guy with an acoustic guitar is not literal. It's a mindset. It doesn't have to do with your skin color or even what instrument you play. As long as you're a lazy, shallow, self-absorbed douche who writes music that pretends to be sensitive, you too can be a white guy with an acoustic guitar. Really, deep down, aren't we all white guys? That's stupid. Forget I said that. For what it's worth, I'm told they do sound like an actual band and stuff on their other songs, which have been circulating through their home country for a while now. 
Uh, for example, here's their biggest hit before this one called Strip No More. I met this girl, I think she likes me. I said, hey, where's that girl I talked to yesterday? And I said, hey, where is destiny? Is that her name? How come you don't strip no more? Joke. I met your friends, I think they like me. They like me. Oh, but they don't do it like you do. Like you Did you seriously write a song where you're sad because your favorite stripper quit? Inside the private room, I hope you understand. I was like, woo She made me go, wee Okay, this is gross. Of course, what else could I expect from a bunch of Danish, barbarian descended Copenhagen or Neanderthals? Yeah, what else have they done? Mama said that it was okay. Mama said that it was quite alright. I kind of people had a bed for the night. Oh, and it wow. Was okay. Sampling Hard Knock Life from Annie. What an amazing idea. I can't believe no one else has thought of that. It's but neither of those songs have much to do with seven years, which is about the grand experience of traveling through this thing called life, and the tragically finite nature of human existence, and the death of his father. Soon I'll be 60 years old, my daddy got 61, remember life and then your Deep life subject matter for a band who doesn't know how strip clubs work. Look, like I said, this is a topic that weighs on my brain a lot. I see those BuzzFeed articles that are like, wanna feel old? No, no, I already feel old. Constantly. This is how I feel every time I see those articles. So yeah, this should hit me right where I live. So let's see how they tackle this profound, universal subject. Once I was seven years old, my mama told me, go make yourself some friends or you'll be lonely. Once I was seven years old, Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, you were just a lonely little boy. I get that. Although at seven years, you should already be able to make friends. It's not hard at that age. Hi, can I have some of your crayons? Okay, bam, you're friends. But yeah, I get it. You start off knowing so little. You don't know in your way in the world. You feel all alone. It was a big, big world, but we thought we were bigger. Pushing each other to the limits. We were learning quicker. Oh, okay. You, you do have friends. I guess you were doing okay. By 11, smoking herb and drinking burning liquor. What? Horse shit. Horse shit. I do not believe for a second that you were smoking pot and drinking at age 11. What garbage. Once I was six months old and I could slam dunk. I had a dozen girlfriends got elected president. By 11 smoking herb and drinking burning liquor. Never rich so we were out to make that steady figure. Once I was Well you were rich enough to buy pot and booze at 11. Sounds pretty rich to me. Unless, I don't know, that's just the way you roll in that backwater swampland you call a country. They just shove pot and booze at fourth graders in between force feeding them a steady diet of Danish sausage and Lego bricks. I am comically prejudiced against Denmark is the basic premise of this review. Okay, but anyway, he's 11, he already smokes pot, what else? Once I was 11 years old, my daddy told me, go get yourself a wife or you'll be lonely. Yeah, that's a, that's a weird thing to say to an 11 year old. When I was 11 years old, my dad was telling me things like, brush your teeth, kid, your breath stinks, and stop watching Power Rangers all day and go play outside or something, damn it, or maybe, hey, don't drink liquor, you're 11. You guys have weird parents. The fact that they let you smoke pot before your brain finished developing means their advice is probably not very useful. Anyway, go on. What happened when you were older? I always had that dream like my daddy before me So I started writing songs, I started writing stories Something about that glory just always seemed to bore me Cause only those I really love will ever really know me what? Oh, what's this crap? I believe that less than the thing about smoking pot 
something about that glory just always seemed to bore me. You know, I just don't care about fame. I mean, all that showbiz stuff is so funny. I only care about what's real, you know. <laughs> but honestly, I hated this song well before I even listened to the lyrics. Now, I hated it just because of the way he sings. I was 20 years old. This is absolutely the wrong way to sing a song like this. And I know that for a fact because this premise has been done. I'm 15 for a moment, caught in between 10 and 20. And I... This is the one man band Five for Fighting. And no, I was never much of a fan. VH1 piano ballads weren't really my genre. Plus, I was never happy with John Andrzejczyk's weird Muppet voice. I can't stand the fly. I sounded like a dog toy. I'm for a moment. But his second biggest hit, 100 Years, was still a pretty decent song. Quietly walking through snapshots of one man's life as the inexorable passage of time sweeps along. When you only got a hundred years to live. A big part of what makes it work is how subtle it is. He never, you know, stresses any of the milestones in this guy's life. He just lets it pass like sand through the hourglass. And that's the way he has to do it because the tragedy of it all is how mundane it is. It's normal and it's boring and it happens to all of us. Apparently Lucas Graham doesn't know that because he's grunting out every line in this ridiculous rock voice because everything's so important and meaningful, man. Soon I'll be 60 years old, Bella. So one time you were 20 years old. So what? Most people were 20 years old. If you somehow skipped 20, that'd be something worth emoting all over. I was never 20 years old. That's literally impossible. What the living hell, how does that work? I only see my goals, I don't believe in failure. <laughs> see, that is the number one thing that makes them a wigwag. The way the song reeks of ego. Dude, I was smoking weed at age 11. I write songs, I don't believe in failure. My woman brought children for me. So My wife got kids for me. Just, just little things like any other song, I would just write that off. But here it comes off like he really thinks that his kids are a gift to him. Like like a video game that he isn't gonna share. Soon we'll be 30 years old. Our songs have been sold. We've traveled around the world and we're still roaming. Yeah, that's interesting. Hey, remember that line from earlier? Something about that glory just always seemed to bore me. Because now it kinda seems that you care pretty deeply about glory. Look, you think your life is awesome, nothing wrong with that. Just don't bullshit me about how this is about life and death or anything. R rock out. Write yourself a hair ballad about how you've seen a million faces and you've rocked them all. Not this tinkly music box shit that's trying to sound all serious. I mean, it doesn't even have to be like goofy hair metal. It, it, I mean, there was that One Republic song. I didn't mind that song. It certainly didn't piss me off because it wasn't trying to pretend to be anything it wasn't. It doesn't pretend to be about the death of his dad and then end up being three minutes of Lucas Graham giving himself a blowjob. Your life becomes a better one. I made a man so happy when I wrote a little once. What the hell did that have to do with anything? Man, I'm great. I just make people's lives better with my presence. I mean, I, mean, I assume he's talking about a letter to a fan because of all the shit he keeps jerking himself off over. I mean, this doesn't even compare well to... 21 Pilots is stressed out. My name's blurry face and I care what you think. Which is not very catchy. Goes off into weird tangents about candle sores. Has a chorus that goes, My name's blurry face and I care what you think. Seriously, why aren't we talking about that? But at least it tries to capture the strain of growing up. <sighs> Seriously, the steaming self-importance of this idiot. Did you, did you guys hear that? I, I swear I've heard that. It wasn't just me, right? There was something in the background. What was that? Once I was 20 years old. Eat 
my balls, you raging egomaniac! Something about that glory. Oh, I don't care about glory. So, in the middle of my song about aging, I'm gonna insert the sound of a roaring crowd screaming my name. Oh, fame. How boring. Bullshit! I knew you were lying about that because you named the band after yourself. Why would you even do that? Like, if you're the guitarist or something, then it makes sense so you don't get overlooked, but you're already the goddamn front man. Were you not getting enough attention? It doesn't even sound like the name of a group of people. It sounds like you're trying to trick people into thinking that the other guys don't exist. Like, at least the name The Dave Matthews Band lets you know that it's a band. But no, it's not enough that Lucas Graham named his band Lucas Graham. He also has to have a crowd shout Lucas Graham on his song from the album Lucas Graham. Not to be confused with their previous album named, no joke, Lucas Graham. I'm surprised the name of the song in Lucas Graham. I'm surprised it doesn't go, Lucas, Lucas Graham, Lucas Graham. Soon I'll be 60 years old. There's literally nothing about this song that is any good. I hate every overwrought second of it. I especially hate the way he starts squealing the lyrics at the end. Once I was seven years old. I was seven. I was seven. Seven whole year! It's between six and eight! Shut up, you moon pie faced idiot. Man, I'm never gonna give Ed Sheeran shit ever again. And for the record, you can go to Genius.com where he's annotated his own lyrics, and yes, he claims that he did in fact smoke and drink as a kid, sure. But he also confirms that he does in fact genuinely believe that he is dropping truth bombs all over the place. Dreaming and working very hard is very important if you want to realize your talent. Wow, amazing. This is your most successful band? You suck, Denmark. This is why Sweden produces all the good music. Well, you know, I liked the Ravenettes. Oh, when Junior Senior or Junior Senior was pretty good. Eh, hey, Denmark, you're alright. Seriously, do something about this guy, though. Once I was seven years old I won't grow up, I won't grow up, I don't wanna go to school, I don't wanna go to school, just to learn to be.